Hi friends, how's things? Um, I have a, I just want to say this really, I was just kind of wondering, you know, how's things going to kick off in America and what's going to happen? Um, and I was wondering, you know, how the events were going to unfold and stuff. I, I expect a lot of people are kind of thinking the same about this. So anyway, um, I was just praying this morning and I just, I just believe that the Lord gave me some insight on this. So I wanted to share share it with you. Um, anytime the Lord speaks to me, I often feel like, oh my goodness, you know, it, this sounds kind of crazy. But then when I reread it, I just think, mm, you know, so this is kind of one of those things. But um, so I'm just going to, I'll just read basically. I What happened was I was just praying and I just had, you know, just images or just a sense of what the Lord was showing me so that's what I'm sharing with you now um so yeah I'll just go right into it so today's uh, the 13th of March 2009 um 2019 so the enemy is hidden in plain sight that's what I felt the Lord saying to me um I see ships or a very large vessel ship waiting in the ocean. And I saw this, it was like, um, it was more than a, just one ship really, because it was like a very, very large vessel. I don't know how to describe it really. Um, but it was waiting in the ocean. It is armed with nuclear equipment. It is ready and waiting. And in position in the ocean, this is what I see. They have planned to technologically intercept flights and to ground them. They have already practiced and taken a flight or flights down through this method. So I felt that they have already um, they have already done something like this um, as a test run, I suppose. Um, they they intercept tech, they intercept technologically, and they take the flight down. So they do it through means of um, hacking you know, um, technologically hacking. Um, this is nuclear war. This is coming to your world. World peace will be gone. They will annihilate peoples. It will be an aggressive attack, a surprise attack. They have intention to behead the eagle. They want to crush her entirely. Her mighty empire kingdom will be toppled beneath the ocean. Like the mighty Babylon she once was. It will be a huge landslide. It will be a mighty fall, a calamity your world has never witnessed before. It will terrify men. It will be so shocking to mankind. The mighty has fallen in one hour. Her vast wealth, her beautiful cities, her majesty, her iron scepter, her beautiful garments will tumble down before the disbelieving eyes of the world. The world will be in shock. Your world will be in panic. Your governments will be in turmoil because of this great catastrophic event. So this is just kind of giving you some idea of how enormous this event is actually going to be. The dust of her crash will never settle. It will mesmerize the world. Only those who trust in Christ Jesus will not be utterly moved are overwhelmed by her catastrophe. It will be sudden, it will be so sudden, unexpected, targeted and aggressive. They wait instructions in the waters, they wait instructions around the coasts, they await the directives around the barrier reefs. They move in deep waters, their targets are set, world dominance is what they seek. I see the Chinese president, so I was actually seeing the Chinese president, I couldn't remember his name, um, I have seen him obviously, you know, on the TV and, and different times when um, the president Trump has met, met with him. So anyway, I saw his face, the Chinese president, a reluctant ally, pushed to participate, he steps slowly and vicariously and with intrepidation. For he knows he is treading on a landmine. So in other words, he knows how significant a deal this is to come against America, basically. 
He has no affection for the USA, but he is also scared of the ambitions of Putin to some degree. He is wisely and, and pensively knowing this will change world history. And so he moves slowly and cautiously, for he knows he could tread on the landmine. Mine, mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have in brackets here, how do you net the elephant that has power to crush you in one false move? So that's kind of the imagery that I was getting, you know. Meticulously executed, but with what will be fiery aggression. They know it is only by a sudden surprise attack that they will take her down. So they wait in the aisles to seize their opportunity for her undoing. Move cautiously, I hear the Chinese president say. So it's like I was feeling he was kind of holding the whole plan kind of back. You know, he was pulling it back a wee bit, you know. So here I see his face again and he's saying, move cautiously, I hear the Chinese president say. We must wait for the right moment, the seizing moment, the opportune moment to happen. They are snakes in the grass waiting to pounce, waiting for their moment to bring her demise. They are devious foxes in the thicket, watching and waiting. So I received this as kind of the understanding of um, tongues as praying in the spirit. Um, so I have a personal note here written about this because this was really what I was asking the Lord about. Um, I personally feel, therefore, that God will strike her first to make her weak and then the aligning enemies will take their opportunity to attack. They are as lions creeping through the tall grass waiting for a vulnerable moment so the prey can be taken. So basically I felt, you know, um, I think they're going to wait. They're going to wait for something to hit the US and when she's weak they will attack and it is a confirmation of a word that I know a prophet have give, given before. Um, and I know he recently passed away and I can't remember his name. So if I come up with his name, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe put it down below. Um, so that's what I feel that once America has been weakened in some fashion, that's that's when the attack will happen. So that's what I, that's what I feel. So um, anyway, that's what I received. Um I asked the Lord for some scriptures to back this up and I, and I was given Ezekiel chapter 5 verses 13 to 17 and Ezekiel chapter 7 verses 23 to 27. So maybe just have a look at those as well. Thank you for everything my friends and um, you know just um, you know for, you know send me any comments or, or anything or anything that you need to add or want to add to this um, message or what you feel that the interpretation is or you know anything that you that you have received from the Holy Spirit also concerning this thank you so much God bless you all